Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Back to that breaking news here at 630 on a massive fire that continues to burn at this pallet yard in Compton. I'm Brandy Hit along with Leslie Sykes. We want to get straight to Scott Reif once again in Air 7 HD following this now for two hours, Scott. Yeah, it's a massive blaze and they're nowhere close to being able to put this fire out. It spread from the pallet yard to this bus yard. They've lost at least a dozen, possibly more buses. And you can see how intensely the fire is burning as we pan to the right. That entire row of buses right there, they've just backed off from. They figure they can't put that out. They can't stop it. And they're concerned about the safety of the firefighters because we've had a lot of explosions and power lines arcing, transformers blowing up. Also, if we open up and come to the right a little bit, what were your concerns? concerned about. Firefighters are really saying, hey, let's just contain this. But on the right side of your screen, you see it spread to that structure. And even though that's white smoke, that could start to take off as well. Now, fortunately, we don't have any winds this morning. That is really key to this not becoming even a larger fire. It is huge as I bring up SkyMap 7 and consumes almost an entire block. It's in Compton, uh, south of Weber Avenue, north of Banning, and to the west of Santa Fe. And you don't see a lot of water cannons. They're just not getting enough water on this right now now to stop it from continuing to spread. They're doing everything they can do to get those buses out of the way and to contain it. Uh, tilt up and go back to the right where I was, and uh, it started to take off there once again. So that's a real concern, uh, Brandy and Leslie. You see how it's starting to move to another business? Yep. You see some workers standing around there? It's going to be tough. As this spreads, the exposures are larger, and it's just uh, more taxing on firefighters. So hopefully they can get a break and start to get more water on this, but it's really uh, going to be a monumental has to put this out. Uh, we just hate to see that, Scott. Thank you very much for that. Mark Cotarobles also on the scene there. He's got a look at the action from the ground. Mark. Yeah, sorry, Leslie. We're uh, moving our camera here as a uh, engine from Santa Fe Fire arrives on scene, and that's what I was going to mention is the mutual aid that we're seeing out here. We have an engine coming in right now behind us, another from the city of Downey, and as we pan up just beyond this engine, you can see that massive plume of smoke uh, that is uh, billowing up from this fire again on Banning. Uh, just a massive fire in size. I, uh, size. I mentioned earlier before the commercial break that you can see this for miles across. Across Los Angeles from downtown and beyond. It is just south of the 105 freeway. Of course, Scott Reif has been giving us that incredible view from Air 7 HD as we're now two hours into this fire starting around the 430 hour here in the uh, Compton area, uh, really encompassing this block just off of Santa Fe and Banning. The wood pallets and whatever else is in this yard continuing to pop and make these small explosion noises inside unsure what else is burning but water continuing to being doused on it and it's going to be a while before they get it fully out that is the latest live here from the ground just beneath the smoke mark kudorobles abc7 eyewitness news we'll send it back to you and mark as we as we stay with your shop for one more minute here i'm curious to know about the smells that you have in that region because we keep talking about the chemicals the diesel the pallets i mean everything seems to be okay where you are i hope at the moment yeah, it's kind of unique because usually when we go to a fire like this, you can smell everything with depending on how the wind is blowing. Right now, we don't have the smoke blowing upon us, so I can't smell it. You can see again as we pan up, all the smoke is going directly up. So that's the good news. Whatever toxins and, and whatever else is burning in there, we actually can't smell it, surprisingly, despite how close we are standing. Okay, those wind conditions, thank goodness, are not intense right now. Mark, thank you so much for the live update from the ground. We talk about how big these flames flames are and how that smoke cloud is growing. Look at this. This is from miles away. That's our live look from our camera at LAX as the sun rises there in the distance. You can see that thick plume of smoke and you know Leslie it's it's going straight up in the air which is a good sign I guess if there's anything positive about this happening right now is that we're not seeing winds at the moment right right like we have you know a few days ago mm -hmm. it has really been treacherous hello I'm Mark Brown get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV Android TV Apple TV and Roku to to watch on your TV.